Hey there folks, it's Elliot, and today we've got a hot topic to discuss how to remove that pesky iPhone lock to owner message, better known as the iCloud activation lock. Now I know many of you have been curious about services like the activation lock toolkit and whether they can truly bypass that activation lock. Let me be straight up with you, my friends. While some of these services may promise a quick fix, I strongly discourage you from going down that path. Why? Well, here's the deal. They might work sometimes, but they can be risky and there's no guarantee. But hey, I've got your back. In this video, I'm going to share multiple ways that are not only legal, but also safer and more reliable. We're talking about methods that work like a charm on iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. Plus, the best part is they won't cost you a dime. So stay tuned and let's get your device back in action without breaking a sweat. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. If you're stuck on that pesky iCloud activation lock, I've seen quite a few friends in the same boat. The good news is there are some solid online helpers that can make this process smoother. Tools like Unlock Here's AI powered web app can be a real lifesaver. They use some smart tech to help you get back into your device without a fuss. Then there's Safe Unlocks and Lock 2 Owner. Both have been getting some buzz for being straightforward to use. And if you're on the go, the iUnlock app could be what you need. These services have been talked about as some of the top ways to get your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch unlocked. Remember, it's just about sharing what's out there and maybe making your day a little bit easier. And speaking of easy, stay tuned, because I'm about to show you how to navigate Unlock Here's AI Assistant like a pro. Quick heads up for everyone watching. These unlock services tend to work mainly in first world countries, but don't worry if you're somewhere else or prefer not to use these services. We've got something for you too. Every week we're giving away 250 unlocks to our viewers. Want in? It's simple. Just hit that like button, smash subscribe, and drop a comment down below with your device model like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. Do that and you're in the running. Good luck. All right, let's get to it. If you're looking to unlock your phone, open up your web browser and head over to unlockhere.com. It's a nifty site with an AI assistant that's all about helping you get rid of those annoying mobile phone restrictions. Once you're there, the AI bot will call it Nifty is ready to help. Just let Nifty know you're there for an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. Whether you've got an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, the next step is to select your device type. Now, you'll need to enter some numbers, either your IMEI or serial number. Here's the deal. iPhones always have an IMEI, but iPads and Apple Watches might only have a serial number unless they've got cellular capability. To find this info, give the sleep button on your device a quick press. Hit it once more, tap the little I on your screen, and there you have it, all the numbers you need. Once you've got the device info, input that here to proceed with the process. Next up, you'll put in some basic details to tie the order to you. Make sure this info is spot on so you can get your confirmation email. After that, don't forget to agree to the terms and confirm that you're not trying to unlock a stolen device and get the process rolling. Before you continue, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete the quick captcha. After that, click start process. And just like that, you're on your way. Keep an eye on your email inbox for that confirmation code. Sometimes it sneaks into the spam or junk folder. So don't miss that. Once you've received the code, grab that code, enter it back on unlock here. Then shortly after, prove that you're not a robot and make sure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. There's a couple of other straightforward options you can try. One way is to reach out to Apple support. 
have your original purchase invoice handy because they'll want to see it to verify that you're the legit owner of the device. Just explain the situation, show them your proof of purchase, and they can help you remove that pesky lock. Alternatively, if you've forgotten your Apple ID details, you can scoot over to Apple's website for a reset. It's pretty simple. Look for the forgot Apple ID or password link on the sign in page. You'll need to punch in your Apple ID, which is usually your email address. From there, follow the steps to reset your password or recover your ID. They might ask for some security questions, send a verification code to your other devices, or even require two factor authentication if you've set that up. Just follow the prompts and you'll be back in business before you know it. And don't worry, I've got more useful stuff to share, so stick around. Oh, if you're still here, we've got another tool you can use, iCloud Unlock Software. Now keep in mind, you're going to need a Windows computer to run most of these programs, but I gotta be straight with you, not all of them are going to do the trick, and some can be sketchy, packed with malware. So here's the thing, you really want to avoid downloading something dodgy that'll do more harm than good. That's why online services like Unlock Here and Safe Unlocks are the go-to for a lot of folks. They're web-based, so you don't have to download anything, meaning there's less risk of accidentally getting a virus or some nasty software on your computer. Just remember, whenever you're looking to remove an iCloud lock, go for something that's got a good rep and won't leave you in a jam. All right, if the device that's locked and the person who sold it to you is willing to help, you're in luck because there's a straightforward way to sort this out. Just ask the previous owner to follow these chill steps. They'll need to hop onto iCloud.com on their browser. Yeah, any browser works. Then they log in with their Apple ID, the same one that's locking your device. Next up, they click on Find iPhone. It's pretty much like a digital radar for all their uh, Apple gadgets. In there, they'll see the list of devices linked to their iCloud, and they've got to pick the one that's got your device all tied up. Then there's a button that says Erase. Clicking that is like a magic wand. It'll reset the device back to its original state. But make sure they understand this wipes everything. It's a clean slate deal. Last step, they'll see remove from account. Hitting that button is like cutting the invisible strings that link the device to their iCloud. And that's how you get the iCloud lock off if you're on good terms with the seller. That's all for today. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We hope you got what you need.